Marie Francois Thierry Martin was born on January 2nd, 1873 and baptized two days later on January 4th. Her mother Zelie was a talented lace maker who wanted to be a saint and her father Martin, a watchmaker by trade who wanted to be a monk. The two got married. After 15 years, Zelie Martin bore nine children, seven girls and two boys. The Martin's delight turned to shock and sorrow as tragedy relentlessly and mercilessly stalked the little ones. Within three years, Zelie's two baby boys, a five-year-old girl and a six-and-a-half-week-old infant girl, all died. The Martin's last child was born on January 1873. Doctors feared for the infant's life because she was weak and frail. The baby girl proved to be much tougher than anyone realized and survived the illness and a year later the baby was full of life. A few months later, Tere became so ill with a fever that people thought she was dying. When she saw her sisters praying to a statue of Mother Mary in her room, Tere also prayed. She saw Mother Mary smile at her and suddenly she was cured. She tried to keep the grace of the cure a secret but people found out and badgered her with questions regarding her vision. By the time she was 11 years old, she had developed a habit of mental prayer. She would find a place between her bed and the wall and in that solitude think about God, life and eternity. She pursued to join the Carmel Convent where her sisters worked but she was not being given the opportunity. Finally, the Vicar General granted her the permission to join the Carmelite Convent after seeing her courage and efforts that she put in. She understood that the Church had a heart and that this heart was burning with love. She understood that love compromised all vocations, that love was everything that it impressed all times and places. Then she cried out, Oh Jesus, my love, my vocation, at last I have found it. My vocation is love. In 1896, she became ill. She kept working without telling anyone until she became so sick that everyone knew it. Therese's pain was so great that she said if she had no faith, she would have taken her own life without hesitation. But she tried to remain smiling and cheerful and succeeded. Therese died on September 30th, 1897 at the age of 24, after having lived as a cloistered Carmelite nun for less than 10 years. After her death, an edited version of a journal called Story of a Soul was published and within 28 years of her death, the public demand was so great that she was finally canonized. Catholics who have admired this young saint call her the Little Flower. Dear Teresa, little flower, hidden from the world and all, blooming in a carmel garden to fulfill the Master's call. Hear our prayer, Saint Teresa, lead us on your little way that we we'll live alone for Jesus teach us how to love and pray Saint Teresa spouse of Jesus oh we pray the hear our call when sweet roses that will shower in our hearts let petals fall Hear our prayer, Saint Teresa, lead us on your little way, that we live alone for 
Jesus, teach us how to love and pray.